Merchant to get us underway here tonight. So much to look forward to as Nicholson makes a move. Can't find the finish. Mitchell down the other end for Southside. And that's a great way to get us off to a, a good start. Mitchell has been outstanding since stepping into the starting lineup. She's, you know, her points average has gone up and her impact has been huge. So if she can continue that, it's going to go a long way for Southside getting the win tonight. Kayla George pulls it in and keep it alive. A chance for Imagine in the corner. And we are started with a bang tonight. Imagine trying to get around a couple. To George, shot clock ticking down. They'll have to manufacture something, and they do just that as Bradley finds her way to the rim. Mitchell here just to slow it down. It sort of went back and forth in a bit of a foot race, slows it down, then turns on the Jets and tries to get to the rim. Fast break down the other end for the Flames. Richards again. And that's as we spoke of the great help from Lauren Nicholson there of split line, but then once. Oh. George responds at the other end. Finish it. There's it with Jackson. Cole, imagine applying the pressure. Cole finds her way through. Excellent finish. It's tough. And I know when speaking about Beck Cole, but the addition to 3x3 to her game and what it's done for her has been huge. Nicholson in the corner knocks one down. Rochi with the spin move. Beautiful. Seen a bit of everything so far tonight. Only seven minutes in. Richards pulls up for two. And as you can see, so the threat Richards has taken. Nine points to the good. Nicholson pulls up for three. Not on this occasion. They get an O board. Taylor to Richards. Wonderful work. Beautiful basketball. Good contest tonight, but Zoe, do we expect it to be this good this early? <laughs> Not this early. I thought it would be uh, a little bit of a slower start. <laughs> Mitchell pulls the trigger. What a start we've had. Richards has a fumble. Somehow keeps it alive for Nicholson to finish it off. Minute 18 of this if this quarter, if there's a chance, you can see some Southside subs waiting to come in. Uh, so I dare say in the next the next stop, they'll be uh, looking to get some fresh legs in. Final minute here of what has been a ripping game of basketball so far as Kayla George gets in on the axe. Sydney shot out of the blocks, 11 points to the good at quarter time, but uh, we've seen some pretty basketball already. Sure have, especially from the Flames. Oh. <laughs> we cannot, we, there's no pauses. Getting high percentage shots, and when you do that, you're going to be able to be, put yourself in the best position to win basketball games. You need to try and put heat on the rim early on transition, but if they get nothing out of it, what they're doing now, working the ball around, sticking threes, um, and, and just finding high To Richards, through to Imagine. Broken up by Russell. And a chance for Swain to pounce. Gives it off to George in the corner! And yeah, hopefully she has the game to sort of settle herself in. Hopefully she has a game where she just lights it up. Well, everyone seems to be kind of getting in on the action tonight. We've seen some plenty of highlights, and that's another one. Welcome back, Shanice Swain. She's waited until she was 100% ready to get back so she can have this impact. What was her first shot? What are we seeing tonight from, from every... See, it's a bit of contact off the ball. Nicholson. Long range two. I wouldn't want this lead to blow out too much further. Jackson working on Richards. Is she giving away the foul? Flames with a handy lead of 12 points. And down their end is Magin. Fires for three. This is unbelievable shooting. Mercedes Russell comes along and, and catches Kayla George on the dive and Cole goes to the corner. A really effective way to guard an on-ball screen. George feeds Nicholson. Pretty move. From the perimeter. George's three attempt is no good, but they win it back. This time, Magin in the corner. Yes! To win it back. Now needs some help. Up to Mitchell. Now to Jackson. And gets the finish from long range. 
and was able was out of it because Southside looked to show on that, so she got out of there quickly. And as we know, Kayla George has outstanding range. An outstanding performance so far. Last play of the first half goes to Dee Dee Richards and one. They are loving what they are seeing from this Flames outfit. <laughs> I shudder to think what score they're going to put on the on the board. Immediately to kick off the second half, Lauren Jackson gets in on the action. Here's Nicholson for Sydney to Bradley in the corner, fires for three. To be a, that uncontested from the three-point line. So you cannot overhelp on any strong side penetration. Anything Southside do, Sydney say we can do better. Jackson adds a couple more. But it's at the defensive end that they really kind of need a lift at the moment. Richards draws the contact. Well, take that hit and then still be able to finish over the top. Hook pass to try and get that through. Really hard for the bigs to try and dive on the rim and catch uh, bounce passes. Kayla George overhead. Overhead. Just hook passes overhead. <laughs> Unbelievable plays. Post up a shorter Bradley in the paint. Uh, I think it's a good tactic for a south side to use. Probably just need to move the ball a little bit more beforehand to shift the rest of the defense. Sydney. Defeating Kayla George. Sydney. Sydney. You know, not much coming with her. It's, it's by now you need to have a cut like two or maybe three in double figures. Need to keep the pressure on at this end. And that is. A good start, Potch to Russell. Needs to get it done and does and heading to the line. Again, get the stop here to be able to start that momentum shift to them. Cut the margin down to 14. Swain, the contact, let's take another look. Now to imagine, they'll go again, the Flames. Imagine makes a move in the corner. Swain wide open and drains a three. I don't think she liked that. I think she, <laughs> I'm ready to play. Yep. Nicholson, Poch got a hand in there. Now scrap for it. Great work from Richard. Flyers got lucky on that. Imagine doesn't miss many of those. Back down the other end, and Cole knocks it down. And and see in that last game, wins and losses, a game finishes, you've got to find the result of another game, all those sort of things. Cole pulls up for two. He kept saying, Flames have just been that little bit better. Shooting at a better rate. Cole adds a couple more, so good start. Swain, beautiful move. Picked up right where she's left off. Southside under pressure. Dickie gets away out of trouble. Sydney. Ernst comes into the action. Gives it off to Dickey. It's a tough finish. Can they make something happen here, Southside? Mitchell knows how to get it done. The closest they've been since quarter time. 11 points, it was the difference at quarter time. George, though, adding a couple more. Uh, if they, again, if they can get back to that regularly, they'll they'll put this lead back out. Rochi fighting hard. George swings it across to Margin, pulls the trigger, gets it done. Back out to an 18 point margin. Five's got two within 11 as George finishes off a wonderful team play. Spacing out and taking her time, and then a quick separation again from Kayla George. Beautiful basketball. Final two minutes here. And the three pointers continue to drop. Paige Bradley adding another, her third. And it's down the other end, says, I'll have a little bit of that too. Uh, I guess 
peg these things back or not allow teams to blow it out when they're having incredible shooting nights. Yeah, certainly not panic stations for them by any stretch. Game of basketball from the opening tip-off. We've seen an absolute masterclass tonight. And it continues as Hurst knocks down a triple. Uh, again, another great young prospect and great to see him on the floor and having an impact, not being afraid to step up in big moments. Eight, seven. Seconds tick down, a chance for Jufferman's and gets the basket. And that is the end of an exceptional game of WNBL hoops. The Flames come out on top, 102 to 81. A sensational performance from a team that is hunting a place in the postseason.